Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, J Dreaming. My name is Haley J Jones, and today we're going to be going over how I pack for trips. So first and foremost, do your laundry before you even think about packing, um, because you wanna have all of your like A1 outfit choices available to you. Um, and the best way to do that is to make sure all your laundry is done. Uh, and then also you are probably gonna have a lot of laundry to do when you come back from your trip. So it's a good idea to just get all the other stuff out of the way first. So then all you have to do is your actual like dirty clothes that you had on the trip with you instead of heaps of laundry when you get home. Second thing, make a packing list. I'm a huge list person, um, but I tend to start like my packing list with a couple of staples. One is always how many nights and how many days are we gonna be there. So in this case, I'm just bringing a duffel bag and a backpack um, because we're only going to be away probably, I think it's three nights and four days. Um, and so that immediately tells you how many pairs of PJs you're gonna need. Um, and also kind of gives you a rough estimate of, okay, how many outfits am I gonna need? Do I need to bring extras of anything? You want to think about what activities you're going to be doing on this trip. Like for our example, um, we're going hiking one of the days. So I know that I'm going to need a good hiking outfit and maybe a jacket or something to throw over top of myself if I like get cold, um, good tennis shoes, and then also maybe a hat or like a small backpack or something like that that I can kind of strap around myself and carry, you know, my water bottle or that kind of stuff that I need. Um, if you're going to be swimming, boating, biking, shopping, anything like that, those are things that you really wanna make sure that you tailor your outfit specifically towards so you're gonna be comfortable on your trip and there's nothing that, you know, you're really gonna feel unprepared for and maybe even have to sit out of an activity because you forgot your swimming trunks. Thinking about these activities, you might think, okay, um, we're going to dinner one night. Is the restaurant really fancy? If you're going somewhere extremely fancy, they might have a dress code. Um, so it's a really good trick that I found to kind of look up the restaurant online. You can, one, see if they have a dress code. I know sometimes there's like no denim or no rips in your denim, those types of things, no hats maybe. Um, but the other thing is you can kind of get a gist for like how fancy you're gonna wanna dress just by looking at the kind of ambiance of the restaurant or like how fancy the restaurant is, I should say. Um, and then also, of course, like text your friends, what are you guys wearing? Are you guys bringing heels? Are you guys, you know, bringing a sport jacket or something like that? Um, and then you also might wanna ask them, hey, what do you plan to wear? Because if you and your friend like both bring this stellar black jumpsuit and you both wanna wear it for the big night out, maybe that could cause an issue. So that's always something good to think about as well. Okay, another thing when you are making your packing list is to check the weather. Um, and honestly, I live in Michigan, so I'm pretty good at packing everything from like a snowsuit to a bathing suit. Um, but you wanna check the weather just to make sure that you're prepared because your shoe choice might change or maybe you need to bring a rain jacket or something like that. Um, so definitely check the weather because it kind of gives you a little bit more of a clue of how you're going to want to dress the day of on your trip. And finally, while you are making your packing list, um, you don't want to forget the things that it takes for you to get ready. So like your toiletries, shampoo, conditioner, all of that good stuff, makeup, if you curl your hair, if you use a certain gel for your hair or something like that. Um, and I like to, I know this might seem like overkill, but I really like to write every single thing down from like deodorant, razor, tweezers, like every single thing individually because there's no way you will forget it then because you have to physically go and cross it off your list. Um, but yes, yeah, so you wanna go through your entire getting ready routine and then also go through each day in your head and again, check off those activities. What do I need to go swimming on a lake, okay, bathing suit, check. You know, maybe you need a beach towel, sunscreen, those types of things. Um, and that's really gonna help you comp compile your packing list. Okay, so while we're picking out our clothes for the trip, you also kind of wanna think about your travel outfits. Um, so that's what you're going there in and then what you're gonna come home in. I usually pick those two things out first, just so I don't have to worry about them. Um, 
but then also you want to think about what you want to leave out of your bags. Um, and I know that sounds kind of weird because we're packing and we're supposed to be putting things in our bags, um, but you want to leave out things that A, you're going to need the next morning. Um, so like in this case, we're packing tonight, but we're leaving tomorrow morning. So I don't want to dig through all of my stuff to get out my hairbrush or my deodorant or you know anything that I'm going to need for the morning of which would be like a toothbrush and toothpaste so try to remember that um but yeah that kind of stuff because you really don't want to like rummage through your bags and like mess up all your folded clothes and that kind of stuff um so leave stuff out and I usually just leave it all out kind of in bags so I'll put like all my makeup for instance put it in a bag but then I'm going to leave that bag out on my countertop so that I can just zip up that bag and say, okay, we're ready to go. So usually I devote one bag to all of my like car stuff, um, or in this case, like my MacBook, um, Apple watch chargers, all of that good stuff. My snacks will go in here. My, all of my like books that I like to read will go in here. Um, I'm currently reading Harry Potter. If you've never read it, check it out. Okay. So next kind of tip or I don't know, word of advice is to plan your outfits. What you can do is kind of look at all your clothes and you're gonna see what things match each other. So I might start with um, a skirt, a pair of shorts, and then another maybe like dressier skirt. Uh, and then I go in my closet and I find all of the things that match those things. Um, so I try to have a rule of thumb where if I pick out one top, it needs to match at least two out of the three bottoms that I'm taking. Uh, and that helps because you're going to be able to recycle your clothing a little bit more and have a tiny bit more options um, when it comes to like weather changes, if someone's wearing the same color as you, if a friend or a sister wants to borrow one of your tops, you know, you don't want to be stuck in a place where you can't let her borrow anything because you don't have anything else to go with that particular skirt. Um, so choosing versatile items that can really be mixed and matched is huge. Also, this goes for accessories too. So you want to think about shoes, purses, your jewelry, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm pretty simple on the jewelry front. I usually just wear like little diamond studs. Sometimes I'll throw this necklace on. This is the only necklace that I really wear. Um, and then my ring basically, and that's it. The same thing for shoes. So I'm bringing a white pair of heels, a white pair of sandals, um, a nude pair of heels, and then tennis shoes. And I think those are great. You can kind of mix and match them it pretty much matches any single outfit that I'm going to be taking. Uh, and then of course, maybe if you your feet hurt one day from wearing heels, the next day you can switch to your sandals and you're not gonna have to worry about trying to throw together an outfit. Everything is still gonna match and it's going to look fabulous together. Um, but so when I'm packing in a duffel, I usually, I mean, stuff is gonna get wrinkled. Um, so I usually try to pack the like most resilient things um, at the bottom. So like athletic wear, t-shirts, stuff that you really don't care if that's gonna get wrinkled. Uh, I would suggest not packing things like um, dresses in a duffel bag. So these dresses, a lot of them have just come back from the dry cleaner. Um, so I really don't want to throw those in a duffel bag. Luckily we're taking a car. Um, so I'll be able to just keep them in their dry cleaning bag and just hang them up in there. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing stuff that you absolutely don't want to get wrinkled. Um, shoes, I always put on top. If you put them on bottom, they just take up too much space, I think. Uh, and then also, um, like bras that their like cups can get kind of crushed and like damaged. I wouldn't do that. Um, that, that goes for bathing suits too. Bathing suit tops that are a little more structured. You don't want those, um, to like bend or, you know, like get dented in a weird way. Um, but yeah, and then same thing for purses. So I'm going to start with my athletic wear and like t-shirts and stuff. Um, and I just usually throw these in the bottom um, and then kind of stack up. So next I'm going to do all of this athletic wear. Pajamas next because I don't really care if those get wrinkled. Next I'm going to do pajamas and like, or no, sorry. Um, sweaters and like uh, more casual shirts. Um, and then again, I've just got some um, like skirts and denim shorts that don't really get wrinkled. So those can go further towards the bottom. Um, and then we get to like the awkward stuff. 
So socks, um, I just usually like shove in a side somewhere, um, somewhere that like needs a little filler. Bathing suits, none of these are particularly um, like fragile. So I just kind of put them in somewhere. Uh, and then all we have left is really bags and shoes. We're doing this separately. So it looks like I am gonna have some toiletry space, which is really good uh, because I'd have to put it in my husband's duffel um, if I didn't have any room, so. Really try to use your space wisely. If you are going somewhere with a suitcase, which is usually how we travel, uh, I have found that packing cubes, there's some on Amazon that are super cheap, um, work really, really well because it kind of just consolidates everything. And then also, especially if you're living out of that suitcase for the week um, or however long you're gonna be gone, it's really nice because then you can just kind of like close your cube up and go to your pajama cube, get your pajamas out, close that, you know, like it, nothing gets mixed around. It keeps everything very compartmentalized so your suitcase isn't a disaster. Um, you can also try the roll method. I used to do that and then things just kept getting so wrinkled, but when you are in a pinch for space, I would definitely recommend that. Um, and that's just where you kind of like layer a couple shirts together and then you're just gonna roll them up. Um, that tend to, tends to work pretty well. If you can skip bulky items at all, do it. Um, if it's a winter coat or something, maybe you can take it with you. Uh, instead of putting it in your bag because they just take up so much space and that goes for everything sweatpants tennis shoes are bulky um, All that stuff can really be a damper when you're trying to fit the absolute most into your bag There's a couple of things that you might want to put on your packing list or slip into your bag just in case um, Because it could kind of make or break your trip um, tweezers face razors, an extra razor head, and then also any medication you are taking should be on your packing list, obviously. Um, but you also might want allergy pills. My allergies are terrible. Um, so maybe I want a decongestant or something like that, uh, just in case to go along with that. Because my allergies are terrible, I get migraines like every day. Um, so I will always have migraine medicine with me. Another thing might be a laundry bag. I tend to do this. I know a lot of other people don't, um, but it's always kind of awkward when you're like halfway through your trip and you have dirty clothes and you have clean clothes all in the same bag. I just don't like it. Um, even on the way home, I feel like if I have dirty clothes in with my clean clothes after my trip, I can't just go and put those clean clothes back in the drawer when I get home. I have to like wash the whole thing, um, which is wasteful and also I, like don't really enjoy doing laundry. Um, but so try to remember to take like, even if it's like a pillowcase or a trash bag or whatever, just some kind of bag that you can keep your dirties in. So that way they're not, you know, coming into contact so much um, with your clean clothes. And also you're just not getting them mixed up. So you don't have to pull things out and go, oh, did I wear this? I don't know, I wore it for five minutes. Well, is it clean? all of that stuff. It just makes your life a little bit easier and it also makes it a little bit more organized when you are living out of a duffel bag or a suitcase for the trip. And that's about it for packing advice. Um, I tend to kind of overthink things, so this might have been a little bit extreme, um, but I know there's people out there like me, my type A's, um, that just want to feel prepared and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, so get your stuff packed. I always put my bags by the door so I do not forget them. Um, and then my husband can kindly go put them in the car for me. Uh, get a good night's sleep, set 50 alarms so you're not late in the morning, get something to eat. Um, and just remember that trips are meant to be fun and you should be really excited. I know I am. Uh, and maybe I'll try to like vlog or something for you guys. I don't know. I'm still kind of like iffy about the whole vlogging thing. I don't think my life is that interesting, but anyways. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I super, 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 super hope that you enjoyed this content. Um, uh, I love making this stuff for you guys. If you have any questions or if you want to request a video or you have maybe an idea, um, go ahead and put it down in the comments below and I will be sure to get to it. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.